Hey Virgo, what's going on booze? Okay, so this message is going to be about what advice your person is getting about you, okay? So um, you guys pretty much know the logistics about all of this, right? How readings go. Um, I hope you do because I don't feel like going into it, all right? But however, I love you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you to all my OGs, my members, new um, subscribers, new people tuning in. Hit the subscribe button, the like button. I appreciate you all. Um, and let me set my intentions and then I'm ready. So thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my true guides, for showing up and showing out. Thank you for helping me read with accuracy that this message reaches who it needs to reach at the right times and the right places. And so it is. All right. So the question is, my spirit team, what is Virgo's person? What kind of advice is Virgo's person getting? What are they asking? others about Virgo. Thank you. All right, so let's see. I know my face looking shiny. I got some vitamin C oil and some other stuff on my face. Um, I didn't think it's going to be this shiny, but yeah. Queen of Pentacles. So that asking um, mm -mm, a Queen of Pentacles energy. This could be a mother. Knight of Wands comes out in the reverse. It's a couple of people. And then there's somebody here who's a knight of wands in the reverse. They're asking somebody who, um, they be, look, and what I just heard is they be dragging females. Anybody else? Ace of Pentacles in the reverse position. All right, so they're pretty much talking about how they mismanage you for real and how they've been really hesitant, I'm feeling, to kind of like offer you some things, okay? Um... And what I see is that like they're really talking about the fact that they in and out. All right, they ain't really been committed to you, okay, at all. And you're trying to offer them something, but they hesitant about it. Why? Why are they hesitant about accepting an offer from Virgo? Five of Pentacles comes out. So they're going through something that's difficult right now, some type of hardship, okay? They may have even left you out in the cold at one point is what I'm seeing. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles. Ten of Wands is in the reverse position. So, mm, your person got a lot of pressure on them. And they feel like they're getting ready to collapse, basically. Okay? And if they accept this offer from you... All right. Well, if they have a whole fresh start with you, it's like they're trying to like really think like, OK, is this going to solve the problem? So they're reassessing is how I'm seeing it. And so they're asking other people in regards to that, like, what should I do? How should I do it? Because they've been really thoughtless towards you in the past. And I do feel like it's a sense of them lacking some type of confidence. OK, so what is the advice that this mother figure giving Virgo's person? Oh my goodness. All right, now my car isn't fell and hit the floor. Hold on one second. I gotta bend down and get it. Yeah. What is this advice that this mother figure is giving Virgo's person? Six of Pentacles coming out and the Three of Cups in the reverse. There, I feel like they're saying like, you need to, it should be an equal give and take in this situation. And because you didn't betray Virgo, like, <laughs> you betray Virgo, basically. And you should be giving to Virgo. Yeah, the sun card comes out on top of that. They saying that you should get this new beginning. Okay, because of the simple fact here, it's like they're happy with you. They feel as though it would be successful. All they needed to do was just have confidence in it. And I'm saying it's like they're saying you're not happy with the other person. Like, but Virgo makes you happy. So I don't understand. <laughs> it's like, why are you not giving to him? Yeah, the Queen of Wands, the other person coming out already. Queen of Wands reverse. They're telling them this other person is is confrontational. They're self centered. Like that's the past. They're telling them to move on from that. With the Five of Cups in the reverse, so your person could be dealing with a fire sign energy, 
and they're saying that they just very jealous they're yes explosive all of the stuff that's been going on they're saying it's like you're not getting anything from that so why are you investing into that? Look at that, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So you shouldn't be off trying to offer this person anything. You're, disappoint you're disappointed, it's unfulfilling. And here, you got Virgo who gives, where it's equal. You're happy with this person. So, hmm, I wanna know what's out. <laughs> what is this Knight of um, Wands in reverse thing? Here, the Knight of the Wands reverse came out again. So let me see something. Is this Knight of Wands reverse Virgo's person? Eleven, eleven. Yes. So this is actually your person. So it's like some type of mother figure that they're talking to. A queen of pentacles. So somebody who's definitely balanced. They're talking to a balanced um, feminine energy is how I'm, I'm pulling it in. Um, and when it comes to them, you know, starting something new here with you, I do feel like your person could be going through some type of personal development. Yeah, this four of pentacles is in the reverse. So they're releasing some things here that they have in excess. Let's just put it that way, okay? Or things that they probably are holding on to that they shouldn't be, right? Anything that's making them feel unstable, I feel like your person could be releasing right now, okay? Six of wands reverse and the six of cups, y'all. Yeah. They feel like a failure, all right? And... Their memories, everything from the past is just like all bad memories for them. One moment, please. Sorry, y'all. So basically, yeah, they don't feel successful. They feel like a failure when it comes to um, having these type of relationships. And what else are they asking others about Virgo? What are they asking others about Virgo? Ace of Pentacles, if they should offer you something. Hmm. Tell me more about that Ace of Pentacles. I feel like they're telling people, like, you're very loyal. Like, you're a good friend, you know? Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Right, the snake card comes out. They've been hesitant because they deceived you. Basically, they've been lying, right? A lot of betrayal, you got a karmic situation going on um, as well. And they, they were hesitant to offer you something because of this person. So does Virgo person know about this? Is this person a karmic? Do they know that this person is a karmic? Yes. Yes and yes. Whew. Double yes. But this is somebody that they thought that they were going to be able to achieve some things with. They really thought that they were going to have like this whole new chapter that they were going to be able to be comfortable, um, especially financially with this person. They thought this was going to be an achievement for them. But coming to find out, it's all lies. So what it feels like here is that, yeah, you got caught up in the middle of this, right? And this is why they were hesitant in offering you something. So now it's like to offer you something. Look at that. The King of Cups comes out in the Lover's card. It's just like, that's where they're stuck at. Because they got caught up in the illusion. So now to come to you to offer you this cup, to offer you this relationship, um, they already created an imbalance, basically. It feels like, okay, I, they thought that whatever was going to happen with this karmic person was going to work. And guess what? Bam. This karmic person ended up being codependent. They ended up um, being very dissatisfied with this. They ended up not being able to achieve their goals, a lot of delays, and now okay, I want to offer Virgo something. 
they do love you. Don't get me wrong, right? And they know that you are their person. That lover's energy is twin flame energy. So they do know that you are their person. It's just the fact that, like I said, I feel like they may have been caught up in the illusions of a third party situation. What is it? What What is the response that they're getting for this advice? Ace of Swords comes in and reverse in the Two of Wands. So they're telling them, like, use wisdom. Like, they, whoever it is, they're telling them, like, you lack wisdom with this one. Yep. And so now you got an opportunity to make some new plans. There's a resolution to this. Like you can actually accomplish some things because you're going through like their own personal development, like I said. And it's like, even though you had wrong intentions or, you know, your goals may have failed in the past or whatever, you weren't clear about it. Now you got the clarity. Now you can see. So now you can make a decision. And they feel like, you know, the best decision for them is to, to partner with you um, to move forward. Like, this is the best choice. Um, who's telling them this? It's judgment card. Yeah, they're telling them, like, you lack, you misinterpreted, you lack judgment. Yep, so, yep. Seven of um, swords reverse and the two of cups reverse. Yeah, so they're letting them know, like, you got caught or everything is out already or you need to tell the truth or whatever. Why it's this disharmony in your relationship or just be upfront and be truthful about it. Let them know that you didn't make the best decision. But they feel as though they should offer you something here, Virgo. Yep, eight of wands. Knight of Pentacles and then Nine of Pentacles is right next to her. Okay, I feel like they're saying they will still they will still achieve all of this because Virgo, you may be someone who is successful. You you are prosperous. Like you're building your Nine of Pentacles. You have a lot of achievements. Even you know that inner peace. And for them to be at a standstill and not working towards this would be crazy because they can see that you're building like you are in your nine of pentacles energy right now they see you building and for your person to be being all cautious and and rational and you know all this stuff about whatever it is that they're trying to do it's like it's like one of these things they're being overly cautious let's just put it that way it's an overly cautious type energy where it's like they're so cautious they're at a standstill And you actually are the nine of pentacles person. Mm-hmm. The fool card comes in the reverse. Yeah, it's like. Why wouldn't you take that leap? Have that fresh new start here with Virgo, with Virgie Virg. You know, like this person you can actually win with. Yeah. But the thing is, it's like your person just feels as though I've done an injustice. They care about what other people may think. You know, who who they care about? What other people they care about? What they care about when it comes to that? So if they work with you or come together with you here. Yep, it could be a baby mother. I've seen an empress. Baby mothers. Or they may have um just got out of a relationship or something may have didn't work out yep and then if they jump into something here with you look at that <laughs> three of pentacles four of wands in a reverse and the page of pentacles there they jump into something with you too fast or whatever it looked like they wasn't cooperating with the other person because they was collabing with you so it'll make it look like, okay, yeah, this is the reason why our situation ain't work because I was dealing with Virgo. This is why we couldn't manifest anything here because I was dealing with Virgo. I was being irresponsible. So they care about whoever this a third party person is and what they think and even other people. But again, that four of wands energy is that twin flame card. So all along, you are their person for some of you, not all of you, right? 
seven of wands comes out and that's going to create adversity so they're going to even have to defend themselves or stand their ground in this situation here okay so it may be uh, like i'm hearing it could be a couple of people yep the seven of cups comes out that they care about what they think because they have been deceptive. They have not been honest. Okay, so yeah, it's a lot going on with your person. <laughs> Whoever that is, okay. It's a lot going on with your old boy, old girl. <laughs> Look, I'm a player, but you changing me. <laughs> Y'all, I'll get ready, y'all. <laughs> I ain't say it. I ain't say it. Okay, that's the energy. It's 1122 on the timer, y'all. You got free will, y'all already know. Do what you got to do, okay? But for the most part, your person here is, is kind of like, I don't know what to do. I don't, I've i done so much wrong, but I know this is who I'm supposed to be with and blah, 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 blah. Y'all can go back and watch it if you missed some parts, all right? It's late, but I love y'all. Don't forget, hit the like button. Peace. <laughs>